Hi, my name is Jamie Collins, and today we are here at my home gym, The Lion's Den. And I'm going to show you guys how I train biceps for my body type. So as you know, I'm a bikini competitor, so I don't need overdeveloped biceps. But I don't want to not train biceps. So the type of training I'm going to do for my biceps is more for sculpting, rather more so than building, as was if I were to go train glutes. I do want to overdevelop that muscle. Biceps, that's something I don't want to overdevelop, but I do want to have some nice shape and dimension to them. So I'm going to show you guys how I train biceps for me. So one of my favorite exercises here at the Lion's Den is the K-Box. So as you can see with this one, it has three different wheels. So with the smaller wheel, it's the exercise is, is easier. As the wheels get bigger, the exercise gets more difficult. So the way this machine works is whatever force I exert concentrically will be the same force that will convert eccentrically on the way down. So this machine does take a little bit to get used to, but once you get the hang of it, this is a great tool to have for your training. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite exercises, the K-Box. challenging exercise is one of my favorites. So I will do this 15 to 20 reps for three to four sets. Another one of my favorite exercises for biceps is using the track bar. So the great thing about this one, it allows me to have a wide grip, but the even more special thing about this, the handles rotate and move completely with my body. So I'm not forced or locked in a certain position that's on a natural movement. So this is one of my favorite exercises and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So for this exercise, I like to do a little bit of higher rep because once again, we're not building your biceps, we're more so sculpting. So this one, I want to do a weight that's easy and controllable, where I can hit about 15 to 20 reps for this. So for this next exercise, it's going to be a unilateral movement. So I'm big on using bilateral movement as well as unilateral movement to make sure um, my body is symmetrical, it's even, I'm not overdeveloping one side more than the other. So for this exercise, we're using a cable system. Yes, it's going to be unilateral movement. So for this one, one of the key things that you want to focus on is keeping your arm level. So I have a tendency to have my arm up a little too high or I kind of want to drop it. Another one I see is your arm actually tends to want to kind of roll in. So this one, you want to make sure you keep your arm nice level and as you're curling in, you're curling towards you, keep that muscle nice and long and you're not wanting to tip in towards you. So keep it on nice long, curling towards you, hold and squeeze at the top of this movement and fight it back on the way. So for this exercise, it's going to be about a medium rep type of movement. So I'm going to do about 12 to 15 reps as I am doing each arm at a time, but I don't want to go too heavy, nor do I want to go too light. So about 12 to 15 reps, about three sets is good. So for this next exercise, we're using a full length angled bench. So if you've ever, ever seen an old Bill Burrow bodybuilding workout book, you may have seen this on there. So obviously there's major benches out there. This is one of my favorite, it's padded. It's a little more comfortable, and I feel like it really makes me utilize that body group compared to a traditional angled bitch. So for this one, we're going to do a couple different variations. We're going to do one where we're laying down on our back doing a bicep curl. We're also going to do one where we're laying on our chest and do a bicep curl. I like both variations. I feel like it hits the muscle groups, and it's a little bit challenging for both different angles for me. So we'll get started. I'll show you how it's done.
So the great thing about using this bench compared to other benches, in my personal opinion, whether you're doing it on the back or you're doing it on your chest, on the eccentric phase and the way down, the gravity is pulling you down a whole lot more compared to if you're doing just a standard standing bicep curl. It's pretty easy kind of weight, but this one I use on the bench, the gravity is pulling you down a whole lot more, so you're having to fight on the way down. And obviously, as it way up, it's more challenging. So if you have this bench, it's great. Use it. Give it a try. So with any other body part that I train, I like to change up the ankle, the resistance, and the rep range. So this was just some of my favorite um, exercises that I like to do for biceps. So I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.